North Central football is back. The Cardinals' quest to advance to a third consecutive Stag Bowl, hopefully with a different outcome this time, began with a trip to Crawfordsville, Indiana and Wabash College for the team's first meeting since a dominant North Central playoff victory in 2019. Brad Spencer took charge as head coach of the Cardinals for the first time, looking to start both the season and his coaching career 1-0. The Cardinals' first drive looked very familiar and was finished off by a pass from sophomore quarterback Luke Lanin to junior wide receiver D'Angelo Hardy, who dances past defenders and into the end zone. Wabash looked to pull some trickery on their first possession, but Tyler Rich and the Cardinals' defense weren't fooled. Ethan Greenfield set a North Central record with 305 rushing yards in the 2019 win over Wabash, and he found familiar success early with big runs like this one. Lanin then airs it out for junior wideout Joey Lombardi, one of a number of new faces on the roster after transferring from Illinois State. That big play sets up a short touchdown run for Greenfield, his first of the season to give the Cardinals a 14-0 advantage. Lanin gashed the Little Giants for another giant gain through the air on the Cardinals' next drive, this one to Hardy, who then got to finish things off himself with a rushing touchdown to go with his earlier TD catch and extend the North Central lead to 21-0 still in the first quarter. The Cardinals' defense pitched a shutout in the opening quarter, helped by great efforts like this from Northern Illinois transfer Antoine Walker to break up the pass. The offense then marched right back down the field again with another short Greenfield touchdown run to top off the drive. 28-0 Cardinals early in the second. Wabash's offense did eventually find some success, first by going back into the bag of tricks for a double pass that eventually finds Donovan Snyder, and then on a pass from Liam Thompson through a crowd of Cardinals to Penn Stoller. The Little Giants went for two both times and failed to leave the score at 28-12. But that would be all the Cardinals defense allowed. Dan Gilroy records his first sack of the season here by knocking the ball away from Thompson. From there, the Cardinals offense took center stage for the rest of the game. Another deep pass down the center of the field from Lane into Hardy, plus the flag for pass interference. That moved the Cardinals into the red zone, where once again, Ethan Greenfield punched it in, his ninth career game with at least three rushing touchdowns. D'Angelo Hardy, meanwhile, apparently took that as a challenge, because here he is catching his third total touchdown of the day to put the Cardinals up by 30. In garbage time, Jordan Chisholm got his first rushing touchdown of the day, before Danny Nuccio intercepted a Thompson pass and ran it back deep into Wabash territory. The ensuing short drive would end with another short touchdown run, this one for Darius Bird. The Cardinals and Brad Spencer are 1-0, an emphatic non-conference road victory by a big margin over the Little Giants, 56-12. This offseason definitely felt a little longer than the rest, but I'm mean, super excited to be back out here with everyone. we got a special group of guys, special coaching staff. I'm excited that a lot of the guys like me are fifth years decided to come back and play. So when you're a fifth year, everyone's looking at you and always watching you, how you carry yourself outside outside the classroom, in the classroom, on the field, off the field. So you got to be making sure that you're doing the right things all the time, which is something that we really pride ourselves on is being good people first and then working hard and being good football players in the end. Uh, we feel really confident right now. We started off the first quarter going along five yards. So on the second quarter, we had a little rough patch, but we came back out the second half stronger. It feels good. You know, uh, without Andrew Kaminsky out there, so I had to step up my game. So it felt good to be that, be that uh, that factor that that changes the game. So we didn't we didn't show everything, but earlier in practice, coach said I might get a running, rushing, and passing. So watch out for the next next game. 